Good day, Brittle Planet listeners. This is Eric Peterson, and today I'm in Fallen, Sweden. And today I have a special guest with me. I have Nick from the Bad Tungsten. How are you doing today, Nick? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. Are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm glad. I'm just happy to be here. I mean, yeah. it's you know, being in Sweden is always fun, and with metal music, it's all it makes it even funner. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good weather. To yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's for perfect. being in Sweden, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for the Amer- for Americans who. Don't know. It's about seventy degrees and uh, gets down into the low fifties at night. So it's it's perfect. It's perfect. So yeah, um, might get a little rain this afternoon, but it still will be. It will still be nice weather. So mm-hmm. so tungsten. Yeah, uh, how how long have you guys been around as a band? As a band, it's from uh, started in two thousand sixteen. Okay, but uh, we was called another name at that point. Okay, so we released an album under the name Strucker. Okay. Uh, we released it ourselves so then when we was going to do the second album we got a record deal and uh, we talked to the guys and decided to do it as a whole new band with a new name and a new start Mm -hmm. start fresh so to speak so Tungsten has been around since 2019 okay yeah all right and then tell me about the band members because I know it's it's pretty unique that uh, you guys have some unique Combinations in yeah. a band, right? Yeah, f- family. Yeah, it's a family band. band, right? Yeah, and with Mike, our good friend from yeah. Helsingborg. So. Yeah. So it's it's you you play guitar. Yeah. And uh, your brother, what's? Uh, Carl. Yeah, he plays he bass. plays bass. Yeah. And then. Your... And Anders. Anders is and it, and he's your he's your dad. Yeah, it's uh, my dad. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah. So it's it's like a whole family. Yeah. You know? And yeah. then and then sit, tell me about the singer a little bit. It's called uh, Mike Anderson, Mike. and he's uh, an old friend to uh, Anders, the drummer. So oh, okay. They had some projects after the Hammerfall era. My dad used to play with Hammerfall before, so uh, they had a project called Full Force. I don't know if you. I, heard I've it. not heard of it. Yeah, it's power rock. Okay. Kind of stuff. So when it was Anders who came up with the idea to start a band with us. Okay. And it came unintentional to ask Mike because he's a great singer, great guy, and yeah. very positive guy. So it's a perfect fit. And, and tell me tell me about the music itself. I mean, uh, I, I was trying to draw <laughs> comparisons to, to some of it, but I was just, I would go all over the place. So, so yeah. maybe you could tell me what, wh- who, you, who you think you best... If somebody had never heard you guys, who would you say you sound like? Uh, this question is really hard because I don't, don't have a good answer. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not. It's, we came from different genres, mostly metal, but Carl has his... Uh, he really likes industrial uh, mm-hmm. uh, Rammstein kind mm-hmm. of song. And I'm more like a progressive guy, like Meshuggah and stuff, more mm-hmm. the harder bands. So, I don't know, the folk music is just... Yeah, we're Swedes, so everyone here loves folk music, and it's yeah. very sing along and yeah. great dark melody. So I don't know how we, there is really no genre to it, but it's a very, very many different elements combined in one. Yeah, soup, yeah. From so to speak. for me, when I when I started listening to the, the latest album, yeah. I um, I kind of got there was some of the vibe. It was like it was almost like a twisted carnival circus music some of it you know yeah, like a, yeah. it, ha- it had some of that element in it it wasn't the overriding drive of the music but you could hear some of that like almost uh not like a pipe organ but just some kind mm. of twisted like sound into it that really but then it, the industrial very much came out in it yeah and then and then the power metal came out too you know yeah. so it's a lot of a lot of different things combined into one yeah yeah i think it's people commonly say that we are power metal but i don't think that's true it's, yeah it's probably the most uh, the least yeah no i agree power metal in I agree. music actually yeah so yeah. It, i don't know it's industrial folk music yeah maybe yeah with some power metal singing yeah. elements yeah or something yeah that's a very boring title to have so <laughs> we are saying melodic metal ourselves ourselves yeah yeah i mean that's just the general tagline that you use yeah because you can't re- easier to say that so. yeah and you don't, but you i mean you do have a very unique sound which makes makes it very um it makes it very uh i i, I like it because it's not something you hear all the time yeah, you, you, you know what i mean it's yeah. you, you you can't say oh it's it's the power metal because it's not really mm. 
And so when you listen to it, you go, this is something different yeah. that sounds completely different, which is a good thing. Yeah, you really. Know? Thanks. That's really nice to hear because that, that's something you want to do. You want to stand out from other people. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, it's so hard because there are millions, millions of bands and everyone is great and everyone has their own sound kind of. So yeah, it's really hard to do something new. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. And if you manage to do it in a little bit, it's just great. Yeah. Yeah. So when you uh, when you after you guys got all together, did you um, when you guys started making your music, did you just did you not have your sound defined, but you just kind of um, just started experimenting with each other, playing riffs to each other, playing drums to each it other? It was actually Carl who did the first song. Oh, OK. And it was, as I said earlier, it was Anders idea to make the band. So he, he gave us the job to yeah do some songs and we see see what happens and we didn't have any idea at all what is what's going to sound like we just said we want something that's kind of straightforward and easy to listen to to festivals and stuff yeah. because it's if it is too much double kick drums and too fast it's yeah on festivals you know it's just a big <laughs> yeah it just all mashes together yeah exactly <laughs> sounds like a big blob yeah so kind of acdc and run was uh -huh. the first Oh, okay. Very straightforward, easy to listen to. And, that, and that's a, that's a, actually a good combination to just kind of describe it, actually. An yeah, ACDC okay. AC with, with some Rammstein. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rammstein is actually kind of ACDC, but heavier, I think. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I, was gonna, I wanted to ask you personally, um, growing up in Sweden, who, who did you look to for um, your influences growing up playing guitar? Uh, personally, uh, not. I don't have anyone like that. Really? Actually. Yeah, M maybe mostly Fredrik Torendal from Meshuggah. Oh, okay. Was that not included in our music? That yeah, n not at all actually. But I think the first guy who really got me into playing guitar was Oscar Donner from Handful. Okay. Because yeah, we were out on tour with Anders when we were kids, so that's that's how we started. I really yeah. wanted to do the thing Oscar does. And it yeah, it looked really cool. So. Yeah. That's kind of the first influences. Oh, nice. Actually, nice. And then, so you got you got your album out. Um, it came out June, right? Uh, the last album. Yeah. Yeah, it was in uh, yeah June seventeen. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and are you on? You're gonna do some touring with it? You're just you're doing some festivals for the summer, correct? Yeah, we do. We have like six festivals now. So okay. Yeah. No, no tour is planned right now, but hopefully next autumn. Okay. Will be something. Oh, but nice! It's just on the planning table still. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm really glad we, that we did get this many shows since the pandemic stuff. So yeah, yeah. You really have to be in a long line now to get into this kind of thing. You do. So yeah. I'm really happy that we got this. Yeah, and you got you you got you got to play at Skuxure at yeah, um, which was good. I think you 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 filled in for somebody, right? Yeah, got hard, got yeah, sick got, or something. Yeah, and so you that was great. You got to come down there. So so for me, it's great because I get to see I got to see you there, and now yeah. I get to see you here. Yeah, that was really hectic. We we got the show like two days before the festival. Oh, you did? Yeah. So we we, we have planned all the rehearsals and the traveling and stuff for this festival. It was supposed to be the first one. Oh, okay. So it was pretty hectic there, but. Yeah, it was really fun that they asked us. So yeah, yeah, we're super glad that we did that. And then what's their next one after this one? Uh, next one is on Saturday in Kuleftio. Oh, okay. Is that's the one that it's down south? Uh, no, it's uh, up north. Oh, it's up north. Even. Yeah. Oh, so it's I, like eight hour drive or something from here, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So there's a festival that's even north of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this is southern Sweden still. Oh, okay. Actually. All right. All right. But well, it's a weird festival. It's going to be fun because it's not a metal festival at all. It's a pop festival. Oh, it is. Yeah, so it's very many big uh, pop names in Sweden. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's pretty strange, but it's going to be fun. So are you going to? Are you? Will you? I mean, for this festival being a like a metal festival, mm. for and that one being a pop festival, do you think you'll alter your set list at all for the festivals to uh, for different sounding songs? With we have spoken about it, but I don't think we're going to do it. Actually. Okay. Because many of our songs is kind of poppy. The, yeah. The choruses and stuff is. Yeah, yeah. Catchy kind of is, and. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So I think it would fit. And if they don't like it, they can. Yeah. Go and watch some pop stuff. Instead. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's a good. It's a good place for you to to expand your audience. Yeah. Because there's a really good chance people will will go see you and and like because you have a great beat, a great catchy beat and stuff like that. I yeah. think people will love it. I, I think they will actually. So. They will be surprised that it's so hard but still so soft in some kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. We're not a hard trash speed metal band, so exactly. They will understand what we do. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time, and I want to everybody to encourage everybody to go pick up your latest album. Remind me of the name of the newest. Uh, Bliss. Bliss. Oh, that's right. And it came out, and it's out already. And you could pick up your uh, your last two albums too. Yeah, they're still available. Yeah. So. yeah. so I appreciate your time, and I look forward to uh, seeing you this afternoon. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Yeah.